Welcome to 5G Benchmark. Today, we're diving into one of the key optimization tricks for Huawei routers, manual band and cell locking. With the right setup, this simple tweak can deliver a nice performance boost, often increasing download and upload speeds by 30% or more. By default, Huawei routers don't always select the most optimal band or cell, which can lead to underwhelming speeds especially in areas where multiple base stations provide similar signal strength. In such cases, the router might connect to a less efficient cell. In this video, we'll show you how to manually lock your Huawei router to a better performing band or cell using external script. We'll also compare performance before and after the optimization to see what kind of speed boost you can expect. Now, it's important to understand that Huawei and ZTE routers handle this differently. On ZTE routers, you can easily pick which bands to use directly from the admin interface, but locking to a specific cell on a specific frequency requires an external script. Huawei does the opposite. You can lock to a specific cell and frequency from the router's developer settings, but choosing which bands the router uses requires an external script. Start by running a speed test on your current connection to see how your router performs with the default band and cell. Next, use a tool like Cell Mapper to check whether the current band and serving base station are the most optimal for your location. Sometimes, even if the signal appears strong, another band or cell might deliver significantly better performance. Once you've identified a better candidate, you can lock your Huawei router to that specific cell and frequency using the develop options in the admin interface. After locking, run another speed test to compare the results. This step is essential. It lets you see real improvements in speed and stability based on the actual conditions around your home or office. Finally, to get the most out of your connection, you may need to disable non-optimal bands. Huawei routers don't offer this directly in the admin UI so you'll need to use an external script to restrict band selection and prevent the router from falling back to slower combinations. Let's start by testing the connection with the settings the modem has selected automatically. In this case, the modem has chosen band 3 as the primary frequency, which is a decent choice. Download speeds land around 230 megabits per second, and upload reaches about 70 megabits per second. Not bad, but there's still room for improvement. Now, we notice that the modem has also picked band 8 as a secondary frequency. The issue here is that band 8 only has 10 megahertz of bandwidth, which limits performance potential. Using Cell Mapper, we identify the current serving cell, band 3, which offers only average performance in our area. However, Based on our location and signal analysis, band 1, specifically the cell with PCI 64 and EARFCN 497, looks like a much better fit. We'll want to remember these two values, because they'll be needed when we perform the cell lock. Now, we're going to lock the modem to this more optimal band 1 cell. To do this, we'll use the developer settings available in the admin interface, along with manual band locking. We'll enter the exact PCI and EARFCN values to target the specific cell we want to connect to. Once we confirm the settings, the modem will reconnect to the mobile network using the newly selected band and cell. Next, we're going to drop the non-optimal band 8 from the secondary frequencies. For this step, we'll use an external script created by Mionono. Start by copying the script to your clipboard. Then, create a new browser bookmark and paste the script into the URL field. Once saved, activate the bookmark directly on your modem's admin page. When activated, the script unlocks advanced modem information and gives us control over which LTE bands the router can use. In this case, we want to maximize bandwidth. So, we'll allow only 20 MHz bands, specifically band 1, band 3, and band 20. 
Now that we're locked to band 1 and have removed band 8, let's run the speed test again. We're now seeing download speeds of 350 megabits per second and upload speeds hitting 100. This clearly shows how effective manual cell and band selection can be, especially when the default configuration isn't making the most of your network environment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to 5G Benchmark and drop a comment with any tips, tricks or questions you'd like us to cover next. We're also working on a new video where we'll take a closer look at how to optimize the frequencies used in carrier aggregation, so stay tuned. Thank you.